Hey everybody, it's Tom, and I'm back again with a comic book haul. Um, I got a lot of books to show, books that I picked up from, God, from flea markets, um, a local uh, comic book show, and uh, a shop that I found up up in Massachusetts um, when I was taking my daughter to school. I, I had a killing up there. Um, some books from from Instagram, little little bit of everything from everywhere. Um, I'll show some books that I got from the flea market down in English Town. A couple of things I was able to pick up some some Spider-Man variants, um, relatively pricey books. Uh, I didn't pay much for them. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 570, the second print. And then the big book, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 569. Actually only paid uh, 20 bucks a piece for those. Uh, I got a copy of Amazing Spider-Man, I'm sorry, Peter Parker Spider-Man number one. Sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can move that light a little better. Yeah, that's, that's better. And then um, Amazing Spider-Man number 430. So I grabbed those down the uh, the English Town flea market. Uh, where do we go from here? Um, let me show some books that I got from. I'll show some current stuff that I got from uh, either Midtown Comics or my local shop. So as far as some current things go, I got. Sorry, guys. Let me see here. Not very organized on this here. Where did it go? Hmm. Oh, here they are. Just trying not to knock the camera. As well. All right. First thing I got, um, got this at the supermarket. Those of you who do not know, um, Mad Magazine is no longer creating new content or at least not in in printed format. I think they're going to make some, you know, reprints and stuff, um, but that's the last issue, last new issue of Mad Magazine that hit the newsstands about a month ago. Uh, I don't know if it's still out on the newsstands or if you want to go and pick one up, um, but that's the end of an era. Um, I, w I didn't read a lot of Mad growing up, but, uh, you know, I respected the... Uh, you know the, the significance of it it's uh has a long history um so we got that and then i got two copies of the vampirella number one reprint i had my local shop uh, hold one for me and i ordered one online some other stuff i got from midtown comics um a lucio perillo virgin cover of the Lord of the Jungle. I don't know what issue that is. The Art Germ Vampirella number two. Jenny Frizen Fearless number two. This was strictly a cover by. Um, I love her work. And number one, connecting cover. There's gonna be another one. I don't know if it's out yet or not. I haven't checked, but uh, I like that. And then, Red Sonia, Birth of the She-Devil, number three. Uh, some other new books that I got or were new at the time. Absolute Carnage, number one, Art Germ. Captain Marvel, number eight, the second printing. Um, and Captain Marvel, number nine. And then we got Black Cat number three. And then we got Wonder Woman number. Hmm, I think 76 is the issue number. But uh, another. Oh, yeah, there's the number. Uh, another gorgeous Jenny Frizen cover. And then Adam Hughes is just knocking it out of the park on these Invisible Woman uh, issues. 
I have to pick up number three yet, um, but there's number two. And then um, more art germ for the Catwoman uh, covers. I've picked up two of issue number 14. And then the last of the new books, um, the Alex Ross Vampirella number one. Let's make some room for those. Sorry, got about I got about 50, 60 books to show. So if you if you like whole long haul videos, uh, then this one is for you. So the next I went. Uh, a couple of weekends ago, there was a comic book show at uh, in Old Bridge, New Jersey, and I picked up a bunch of uh, 50 cent books, actually. I'm just trying to make everything center here. I mean, it's a huge stack of 50 centers. I'm so sorry. All right. So uh, we'll start off with, uh, let's see, what are we going to start off with? Spider-Man Unlimited number one. Um, I'm always trying to pick up these uh, Shadowland books. So we got Shadowland Blood in the Streets number two of four and one of four. And we got the Daredevil parts of Shadowland, number 511 and 512. And then Shadowland Moon Knight, part one. So those are all, these are all, like I said, 50 centers. Um, this is a book I picked up. I thought it was worth, obviously I thought it was worth more than 50 cents. And, and it is, but it, it's not worth what I thought it was. Um, Justice League number four, uh, great looking Jim Lee cover. I guess at some point somebody wanted eight bucks for that. Uh, anytime I see Michael Turner's things on the cheap, I'm grabbing those whether I have them or not. So Witchblade number four and number five. Eternal Warrior number six and uh, Barry Windsor Smith cover and it is the second appearance Appearance of Master Dark and then found two copies this has no business being in a 50 cent bin uh, Batman number 497 um, Marvel Knights number one uh, the first appearance of the team known as the Marvel Knights led by Daredevil some more Michael Turner awesomeness, uh, Identity Crisis number two, number three, number four, number five. Number five is the death of Tim Drake's father and the death of uh, Captain Boomerang. And uh, Identity Crisis number six. Almost picked up a whole run of that. Um, more 50 centers, Batman 43, two copies of that, first appearance of Mr. Bloom, and then we got Iron Man 281, I'll buy that every time I see it, it is the uh, first appearance of the War Machine armor, and then 284, which is the first appearance of Rhodes in the War Machine ar armor. Um, Young Blood number three, first appearance of Supreme and another character known known as Show uh, Showdown. Is that the end of the fifty cents? Oh, one more fifty center. Uh, second appearance of Sentry. So, I was hoping I'd find number one, but I did not. And then some Conan run fillers for 50 cents, uh, 220, 214, 137, 77, 74, 
73 and they're in mid-grade uh, copies um, really nice number 72 69 68 67 and oh, we got a couple more Hold on. We ran out of room there, folks. So make some more room. This was a video that I couldn't wait to shoot because I've been holding on to these books for a while and I got a lot of books that, uh, on the cheap that I was really happy to get. Um, 66 for Conan. 52, 45, and last number 48. I think this one's actually a double, but it also has Red Sonia in it, and it, it's got a, a task Taskmaster looking guy on the cover. I always have a hard time saying that. So those were all 50 cents. Um, got some other books normally when I go to this this show there's like one or two dealers that I always buy from uh, mostly um, there's a guy if you've been to that show in Old Bridge uh, there's a guy as soon as you walk in on the right and he's got you know he's just really fair with his prices and has some great stuff uh, this is a book that I've never seen out in the wild before um, Torchy number one uh, it's got some it's definitely not the cleanest of copies, uh, but an Olivia cover, uh, I've always wanted that. I got that for five bucks. Um, some TV nostalgia, Welcome Back Carter, number three, got that for a dollar. Mid-grade copy for The Son of Satan, number five. This was a, a great $5 book um that i got uh Se uh marvel superheroes secret wars number one and it's the uh the copy where galactus is blue i don't know which is the better of the two to have or the rarer of the two but that's the one i got um this is like my third copy of this book um i think i paid 10 bucks for this uh, Justice League of America, number six. Um, I think the guy had a bunch of uh, books that he didn't get a chance to price yet. Um, and it still had like a $10 price sticker on it. Could have even been five. I can't remember. But uh, I grabbed it before he had a chance to, you know, say no. But it's more than that. Uh, I picked that up. Uh, another relatively cheap book. A $5 pickup. Um... Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter number one. That's like a $45 book. Um, it is the first appearance of Richard Dragon, but it's also the first appearance of Ben Turner, who's going to become who becomes Bron Tiger, and is going to be in the uh, the new Suicide Squad movie. Um, a $2 book I got. Upgraded my other copy, Incredible Hulk 234. This is the first appearance of Quasar. I figure I'm going to start grabbing anything Quasar, you know, before Marvel Phase 4 hits. Um, you know, uh, the character's name is Wendell Vaughn, uh, whose first appearance is in Cap 217. But this is the first appearance of the character as Quasar. Um, what else do we got? More books I got from that, that guy when I, as soon as you walk in, um, I think these were four or five dollars a piece he wanted for these. Um, Marvel Premiere 17, third appearance of the Iron Fist, and I was very glad to get this book, um, for five bucks. Uh, major upgrade to my existing copy, Marvel Premiere number 21, first appearance of Misty Knight. And then another um, dollar book, I believe, um, Archie number 157. It's crazy how hot Archie books are right now. 
sorry, I'm trying to get this centered. Yeah, anything Archie, uh, or let me take that back. Betty and Veronica stuff is, is really hot right now. <clears throat> and then the last book I got from the con, uh, Chamber of Darkness number four, and the uh, significance to that, and that's probably a, a, a six or a seven uh, grade copy. Um, it's the first, it's the prototype for Conan. Um, it's a character known as the Star Slayer, um, done by Barry Windsor Smith that came out like four or five months before Conan. Um, it's also the first cover collabor collaboration by Marie Severin and, and Bill Everett. Um, so got that for a decent price. Uh, it's like in high grade, in, you know, high grade, it's like a $90 book. I was looking that up. I think I got that for like 15 so I was very happy to at the con um, got some decent books without spending a lot of money went to zap comics and uh, was pleasantly surprised but some of the stuff I got um, I got this book for 250 uh, Avengers versus X-Men um, the significance to this book it's the it's when um, Atlantis um, attacks Wakanda um, and floods them out so I'm sure that's going to come up in in the uh, in the next Black Panther movie for sure if they're going to introduce uh, Namor so that that's I might try to find extra copies of that so if uh, you're looking for a good spec book I would uh, grab this A versus X round seven um, surprised to find this there for three bucks sitting there in there wonder woman bin wonder woman 188 this is easily a 20 25 dollar book all day um and then i'm picking up anything i can blade um so i was able to grab issues number nine and number 10 um the last two issues of their first volume those were two bucks a piece um and I forgot the significance of this book already. Um, Carnage number ten. It's the first appearance of uh, of some spawn of Carnage. Another symbiote. Got that for three bucks. This is a book I was very surprised to find just chilling in a long box. Um, this is easy. Twenty five dollar book. Got that for five. Um, New Avengers number four. The first cover appearance of Ronin. Um, awesome find for five dollars and then the last five dollar fi find i got there was marvel special marvel edition 16 first appearance of midnight second uh appearance of shang shi master of kung fu i mean it's not a high grade copy don't don't get it twisted it's got spine ticks and, and things like that but there's no way that's a five dollar book uh, 20 easily but then again you I don't really sell many books um, all right let's see we still got a lot of more to show let us do we'll do the books that I got up in Massachusetts last we'll show some books that I got from the flea market some 25 cent and dollar books very happy to find some of these things there on the cheap um, I'll put the bigger books up first since they take up some room these were a buck a piece I got some Marvel graphic novels um, hardcover edition for the shadow 1941 Denny O'Neill Michael Kaluta and then I got two copies of Marvel graphic novel, Night Raven, The Collected Stories. Uh, I got two copies of this. One of them I'm actually trading away to Vin Crew. Um, he actually needs a copy of that. I don't expect anything awesome in return, but uh, 
he needed it. It wasn't an expensive book. It's not worth the time, but I also, I also collect the Marvel graphic novels, and it's one I'd never seen before. Um, all right, 25 cent books. Anything Nova, I'm going to grab uh, Nova number one. That was a quarter. Some more uh, childhood nostalgia. Super Friends number 26. I might bring this with me to Baltimore Comic Con if Ramona Fred Fredon is there again and uh, is still signing. I mean, she was she's in her 90s. God love her. Um, I'll get her to sign that. Moon Knight number two, not the bloody fisted variant, but uh, still a quarter. An awesome David Finch cover. Soul Fire special preview, more Michael Turner awesomeness for a quarter. And my second copy of this um, first appearance of Tom Strong and first appearance of. Promethea, I think that's her name, that chick there. Um, so grab them for a quarter. This was an awesome quarter find. Uh, a Whitman bag, uh, still sealed um, for Winnie the Pooh. This was in their quarter box, still sealed. Um, I mean, when do you see these? You don't see a lot of these Whitman still in their poly bags. Or I think I've only seen one other one of um, some other childhood book. Uh, the 25 cents for that, awesome find, all day, every day. And then I got Bloodshot number seven, first appearance of Ninjak in costume, four copies for a quarter. If that book ever spikes, I'm set. <laughs> And then finally, some dollar books from the uh, flea market. Wildstorm Summer Special, an Adam Hughes cover that I did not have. Um, more Blade goodness, Marvel Team Up from Volume 2, Number 7, Spider-Man and Blade. Anything She-Hulk is, is good right now. Uh, dollar book from the first run. And like I said, Betty and Veronica stuff uh, is heating up right now. So I grabbed uh, the, this quote sexiest covers they had. Uh, number six for a dollar. Number 17 for a dollar. And number 24 for a dollar. Then I grabbed the second volume, number one, Blade. It's a, there's a minor first appearance in there. That was a dollar. So this, this book here is pretty interesting. Um, there is like six different versions of this book. Um, Wolverine, number 145. This one is the newsstand. So there's one that's a silver claw, there's one that's a golden claw, there's one that's a white claw or bone claw, and there is some with different covers all together, and then there's this one, the uh, the newsstand blue claw variant. Uh, this one's not listed on Key Collector app. I looked it up on eBay. People are, are asking $15 to $20 for this, for this book. I don't know if anyone's going to pay that, but uh, if you're looking to grab all the versions for, if you're a Wolverine completionist and want every version of issue 145, that is one you'll need to get. Another book that I was very pleased to find for a dollar, um, Wolverine 131, and this is the one with the racial slur in there for a Jewish person. Glad to find that for a buck. And then last dollar book I got, um, just chilling in a box, a uh, dollar box with no bag or board. So it's got a spine tick or two, but I wasn't going to leave this book for a dollar. Uh, we'll, uh, Wolverine. Spawn number 61. Um, 
has something to do with this character becoming the first uh, female spawn, I believe. So that was a cool find for a dollar. And then we got some Instagram purchases. How far are we? We are 25 minutes in, guys. Um, I'm going to try to speed this up. A uh, book I got off of Instagram. I was glad that he had this for $5, but then I realized that there's $5 shipping. Of course, he's got to pay to get his book shipped, but I'm still happy to get it. Uh, I was less happy that uh, it were, if I found this in the wild for $5, I would have been over the hill happy. I was always been looking for this book. I got that from A B A capital A period capital B period comics from Instagram. Check him out. He's got some great books for sale um, for fair prices, and so that wound up costing me ten bucks with shipping. And it would not be a haul without a Golden Age book somewhere. It is. Where is it? Where is you? There you go. I got this also off of Instagram. I think this might have been ten dollars um, plus shipping, maybe less. I can't remember, but it it was really cheap. Uh, I don't normally like photo co covers, um, but um, it was in really respectable grade and at a good price. Um, it's from I think nineteen. 49 um, headline comics and I got that from young comics collect on Instagram spelled out young and then comics and then collect with no spaces uh, check him out as well uh, he's always got great stuff on, on his Instagram all right so in the beginning of um, Towards the towards the end of August, uh, I had to take my second week of August. I take my daughter up to to um, to college for the first time, and that was rough. But uh, you know, she's staying up there now. But what made it a little bit easier for me, um, his dad's a big softy. Um, I found a comic shop that she actually had found for me when she was up scouting the school with her mom that she had told me look they, she sent me a picture and they had like 50 cent books and um that was game on for me I actually that was the only reason why I was looking forward to getting up to the school um so I bought a bunch of books that were either 50 cents or a dollar or two dollars so if it was in no bag it was 50 cents if it was in a bag and no board it was a dollar and if it was in a, um, a bag and board, it was two. So with the first book I grabbed, um, and I've boarded all these since, Young Blood number two. Um, it is the first appearance of uh, Prophet. This is a, a book that's trying to be something. I, I've seen a lot of people show this cover, this image lately with all the Blade announcements. Um, Blade number five, Civil War tie-in, um, Blade and Wolverine. Another, another 50 cent book. I will buy this every time I see it. My favorite J. Scott Campbell cover, Gen 13 number 12. I was excited when I found this, and then I realized afterwards that it is the fourth printing of God Country number one, but still a 50 cent book. Fantastic Four 224, first appearance of uh, Frankie Ray as the second Nova, and Fantastic Four 265, newsstand of the... Um, first time that She-Hulk joins the Fantastic Four. So who knows if that can happen in the uh, the Marvel movies. Um, this book was big a few weeks back. X-Men 305. Found that for 50 cents. Um, first cameo of the Phalanx. Another book that I had seen on one of the weekly top 10 videos by Comic Tom. Uh, rough Grade but I had never seen it before. Um, Huck, number one. This has been optioned. Got that for 50 cents. Another 
50 center low grade but i wasn't going to leave it because it's kind of popular right now i mean it's got it's got a miswrap and all sorts of condition issues first appearance of um the u.s agent another book that i got for a dollar there is some significance to this i forgot what it is uh totally awesome hulk number 15 it may be the first team up of this group of heroes i can't remember all right time to make some more room for the last couple of books the worst part about these big hauls is putting everything away finding room taking the time putting everything away All right, only a handful of things left. Um, these were two bucks each. Captain America, vault number eight and number nine. First time Sam Wilson, um, you know, dons the Captain America outfit. We got Ultimate Eight. I always wanted to read this. I've heard it's a, it's. A, it's a um, taboo issue. It's got some crazy things going on between uh, Quicksilver and and Scarlet Witch and Wolverine is their father. And it, if you know what the book is, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, another uh, two dollar find, Brightest Day number four, first appearance of the new Aqualad. This was fifty cents. Uh, the reprint of Days of Future Past. And then I had just finished watching um, Erod's video. And he had uh, referenced these books here. And I got the whole run for uh, a buck a piece. Ultimate Fantastic Four 21. 22. And 23, the first appearances of the Marvel Zombies. That's my second set of those. Very happy to find those. And then another dollar grab. Um, really high-grade copy of Venom Lethal Protector number four. First appearance of, I think her name is Shriek. And then super happy to find these. Um, first person I ever saw. Uh, that I've ever seen these uh, show these books was uh, was Vin Crew. Um, he had talked about the first appearances of um, Invincible and Savage Dragon number one hundred two. Got two copies of those. Uh, I think that's a twenty five dollar book um, on a good day. On a bad day, it's a twenty five dollar book. Um, so I was very happy to find two copies of those. The last book I found just chilling in a lawn box, waiting for me to come all the way from New Jersey to grab it um, for the sum of $2 was POW. A gorgeous copy of Planet Comics number one. It, it does, however, have one spine tick on it. It's not color breaking. It probably could be pressed out. It's right there, see that? I don't know if it can or can't, but uh, super happy to find this book. This book, uh, I was looking it up. I forgot how much it goes for. Um, did I write it down? No. But awesome, awesome find. I've never find, found that out in my travels before. So kudos to me. Um, I'm going to go back to visit her in a month or so. Hopefully I can escape for a trip to that shop again and see what else they've got that I missed. So that's it for the haul. Um, other than I do have that to show you guys. I actually, when I first grabbed it, I thought it was the superposable uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Um, but as I'm, I paid $5 for it, but as I'm leaving, uh, I saw it as I was leaving, I grabbed it and I was like, how much? And he's like, five bucks. 
and I wasn't paying attention to it. And I notice he's missing a finger and he's not the super pole, super posable Spider-Man with crazy articulation. He's just kind of like a, uh, he crawled across the surface, but still he looks good up on the wall. And that's my haul. And um, thanks guys for watching. And uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. And uh, if you like what you saw, please hit that, uh, that like and that share button. If you want to share this video with anybody, this was a fun video to do fun to grab all these books and uh, until next time bye for now